Hello, everybody. Welcome to 9th Standard English Workbook. Unit 4, Worksheet number 10, Rose 17 Oranges. Roman letter 1. Listen to the following passage extracted from the text, 17 Oranges, and answer the question that follows. I was working in a dock. My job was driving little pony cart, oranges. I was fond of them. I used to eat them all day and every day. One day, Pongo, the police man, caught me red-handed because my apron string broke. He noticed that my trouser pockets were somewhat bulging. He caught me by the collar, took me into the cabin nearby and looked into my pockets. There were 17 oranges. Pongo counted them and placed them carefully on the table. Pongo and the other policemen had seen some cards near the dock gate. They went and talked to the drivers. In the meantime, I ate all the 17 oranges. Pongo returned and became angry. But he was not able to send me to the prison because there was no evidence. However, this incident changed my mind and I forgot eating oranges and forbade the habit of stealing. Choose the correct answer from the options given below. Quest number one. The narrator hid the oranges in dash and brought them. The choices are A, box, B, apron, C, sack, D, bag. The correct answer is B, apron. Quest number two. The synonym for the word red-handed dash. The choices are A, doing correct things, B, retrievable, C, discovering the wrongful act, D, breakthrough. The correct answer is C, discovering the wrongful act. Roman letter two. Frame your own sentences for the underlined words. Quest number three. I was fond of them. Fond of. I am fond of apples. Quest number four. He looked into my pockets, looked into, she looked into her bag. Roman letter three, answer the following question. Quest number five, if you were in a position of the narrator, the boy, and was caught by the police officer for stealing oranges, what would you do? Explain in two sentences. I would say that the oranges were bought by me from the market. I would also stay, say that it was not stolen. Roman letter four, complete the following story by adding two or three sentences. Question number six, last week I went to a fruit shop to buy a kilogram of apples. My father gave me rupees 100 for that. The shopkeeper told me the cost of one kilogram of apple was rupees 150. Then I asked the shopkeeper to give me one kg of apples. Then I would tell him that the remaining amount would be paid by me later. Roman letter five. Read the following passage and answer the questions given below. Excerpts from Jawaharlal Nehru's letter to his daughter Indira Gandhi from prison. How to be fearless. Never do anything in secret or anything that you would wish to hide. For the desire to hide anything means that you are afraid and fear is a bad thing and unworthy of you. Be brave and all the rest follows. We are not afraid of what we do or what we say. We work in the sun and in the light. Even so, in our private lives, let us make friends with the sun and work in the light and do nothing secretly. And if you do so, my dear, you will grow up a child of the light, unafraid and serene and unruffled, whatever may happen. On the idea of race and color, we find that people's complexions are the result of the climate they live in. They have nothing to do with the worthiness or goodness or beauty of a person. Money cannot buy everything. We, can, we must remember that Money is no good by itself. It only helps us to get other things that we want. It helps us to exchange goods. Some foolish people imagine that money itself is a good and they collect and hoard it instead of using it. Quest number seven, who is the receiver of this letter? 
Jawaharlal Nehru's daughter Indira Gandhi is the receiver of this letter. Question number eight. According to Nehru, what was the reason for people's color and complexion they have? The reason for people's color and complexions are the result of the climate they live in. Question number nine. Fill in the blanks. We work in the dash and work in the dash. We work in the sun and work in the light. Question number six. Punctuate the following. Question number 10. Oranges, I was fond of them. I used to eat them all day and every day. Oranges, exclamatory mark comes after this. I was fond of them. Full stop comes after this. I is capital letter. I used to eat them all day and every day. Full stop comes after this. Roman letter seven. Have you ever involved in stealing things in your childhood or noticed someone stealing and get caught? Share your experience in five sentences. Question number 11. I have seen children steal mangoes from our garden. They would throw stones on the mangoes. Some of the stones would fall on the glass window. Then I would shout at them. They would run away. Roman letter 8. Look at the picture and answer the following questions. Question number 12. What is happening in this picture? Describe it in two sentences. A girl is sitting under the tree and reading a book. A boy with a green shirt is stealing a purse from her bag. Question number 13. Snatching a bag from the girl is the rightful act. Express your opinion in five sentences. No, snatching a bag from the girl is not a rightful act. It is a wrongful act. One should not steal others' things. The Bible says, thou shall not steal. Stealing others' things is a bad habit. Roman letter 9. Write an article for your school magazine describing the role of the police officer in protecting the people. Five sentences. Question number 14. The police have two main roles to play, crime investigation and crime prevention. Police is the first body whom we approach in the case of any crime or wrong done against us. A large part of their job is to arrest the robbers. The policeman's job is to enforce laws that protect people and property. Police officers are responsible for the maintenance of public order and peace. Question number 15. Give a suitable title to the article. Duties and Responsibilities of a Police Officer. Thank you, students.